Our body is made of nutrients and substances that are the building blocks for our body composition. These build our bone, fat, and muscle. A very important body component for maintaining good health is our skeletal muscle. Skeletal muscle makes up approximately 40% of our body weight. Skeletal muscle is vital for movement and balance, but it's also essential to our physical strength, immune system, and healing of wounds. Muscle houses most of our body's protein. That protein is mobilized if we're sick or malnourished, or when we're not getting enough protein in our diet. There's more than meets the eye when it comes to body weight and our muscles. Low muscle mass may be a hidden problem. Measuring body weight alone doesn't tell us how much muscle we have. In fact, people with the same body weight can have different amounts of muscle mass. Low muscle mass can also occur in some people living in larger body sizes. In this example, two people have the same body weight and look the same on the outside. However, one of them has low muscle mass while the other has a normal amount of muscle mass. We can lose muscle mass as we age or with illness or injury. People who are on bed rest or hospitalized can lose muscle quite quickly. Low muscle mass can occur with many health problems cancer, diabetes, osteoarthritis, adiposity, diseases of our kidneys and liver, heart disease, HIV AIDS, and lung diseases like COPD. Because muscle mass is so important for good health, losing muscle leads to many severe health problems. This can include challenges with physical function and mobility, poor quality of life, more complications during and after surgeries, and longer hospital stays. Even more concerning, having low muscle mass is linked to shorter survival times for people with health problems. The consequences of low muscle mass have been studied in depth in cancer. Low muscle mass can happen at any stage of cancer, from early to terminal. It can increase a person's chances of severe side effects from chemotherapy and of their cancer progressing. Low muscle mass is also linked to shorter survival times for people with cancer. Preventing and reversing low muscle mass has the potential to improve health outcomes and survival. It can also reduce people's use of the healthcare system, which ultimately reduces healthcare costs. So preventing and reversing low muscle mass is tremendously important. We can support good muscle mass by treating diseases and exercising. Nutrition is an essential piece of the puzzle because it supplies the nutrients and substances that we need to build muscle. Like the ugly duckling, nutrition is often overlooked. Many people don't give it the attention that it deserves for its essential role in preventing and reversing low muscle mass. Just like the air we breathe, we need nutrients to build muscle. Several nutrients can help build and support muscle mass, and protein is essential as the main building block of muscle. Our goal is to raise awareness of how important muscle mass is to our health. We create targeted strategies based on nutrition to prevent and treat muscle loss in people with many different diseases. Nutrition has a critical role to play in rebuilding muscle mass to support overall health and recovery from disease. We believe that good nutrition is a therapy. We can and should use our food as medicine for better health. And our research is exploring how we can use nutrition as a powerful therapy to live longer and better lives.